Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. I had to get away from the mob over there because they're very noisy. Turns out geese still make a lot of noise. Uh, so today we're doing another auction video. I bought some stuff. Now, the last one I put up, uh, we sold a few things, you know, tried to make a little space and get, you know, some of the hungry mouths out of the way. Couldn't help it, but I brought some stuff home. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And then here in a little bit, I'm gonna pop up uh, some of the stuff that I bought real quick and uh, yeah, show you guys some of it. So anyway, just so you guys know, the auction is held in central Kansas. It is once a month and the prices that you see pop on the screen, those are all per animal or per head as they say. So if you see a cage that has five roosters in it and it says $5, that's $5 per animal. Or let's say two numbers pop up. Let's say three and 13. That pops up, they sold what they call a choice, which means you get a pick. And typically, let's say there's three hens and a rooster in a cage. A lot of times, the higher price will typically be for the hens, and then the rooster will sell for a little bit less later on. Now, if there's small hens and a big rooster, it can flip flop, you never really know. Sometimes there's different colors of birds, or you know, let's say there's a blue hen and a red hen in the same one, typically the blue one will sell for a little bit more. That's just, just the way it goes. But anyway, that's kind of a breakdown real quick of how it all goes. Um, we'll get in a video and I'll go find the birds that I bought. Okay, looks like some ice brown hens. Another lot of them. Big egg. What do we got in here? A couple of red goldens. I assume they're red goldens. They might be gold, uh, yellow goldens. White guineas. Pearl gray guineas with well, maybe a pite or two in there. Some more golden pheasants. Some frizzles. We got frizzle poaching. And some buddies. The all red goldens or there's some yellows in there? Yellow goldens there? Right on. Alright. Bunch more red goldens here. Here we got the yellow goldens. Uh, yeah, backwards trio or a bunch of roosters. I'm not sure. That's cool. Nice splash. Splash silky root. Big old pigeons. Runt crosses. Okay. Pair of pecans. Looks like some black East Indies. Cool ducks. What colors we got here? Looks like a chocolate, maybe a purple or lavender. Yeah, it's a quad, that's what I can tell you. One male, three females. Another hen with a bunch of drakes. Big black roosters. Mm. Don't need the Chinese, but that buff is pretty cool. White people. What can you tell me about it? Three year old is this. Oh, they're both three, both hens. One blue, one white. Pretty birds. A bunch of Polish. Look at that. That's pretty. I have no need for them, but you know, thing on the market. I do not need to feed more stuff. Kind of cool. Don't see those very often. Looks like a couple of lamachas. You guys, male, female? What can you tell me about it here? Uh, the paper says a pair of weathers. Club Baramas and some lavender orbs. Whatever the other two are. What can you tell me about them? Barn Builders, Americanas, Brown Legger, and Silver Lace Wine Top, Buff Brahma, and Lavender. There's that many birds in there? Okay. Americanas, Silver Lace Wine Dogs. No closer to Silver Lace there for sure. Show me the other ones. Whatever. That's weird. Pretty, but weird. Looks like some black stars. Says they just started laying. Whatever they went for, they're worth twice as much in the spring. 
We got guinea pigs. Can you tell me, boys, girls? Two girls, six weeks old. Don't need that. There's some more. Caternix quail. We got turkeys. Looks like maybe some black slate, if I'm lucky. Maybe Narragansett, I'm not sure. That was pure guesses. Is that to say? Narragansett black Spanish. I was close. So close. All right, we got some buff Warpington pullets, it looks like. Such a pretty bird. I've always been really gentle whenever I've had them. I'm a really big fan of the Warpingtons. A couple of reds and a bard. And more buff pullets. Pretty. Oh, you guys have made such a mess. Look at these guys. You guys see in there? Doesn't the mandarin look good? Ah, he's such a pretty boy. He always hangs out over there because he flirts with the wood duck ends. But yeah. The cacklers, though, they make a big mess. Man, they're cool, though. I hope I can get you know, them to raise some next year. They are fighting and making all sorts of noise. But anyway, obviously those are some that I had, not some that I bought uh, recently. This is not awesome. But in here, we had the silver mallards, and I got a couple of hens. So just some regular hens to throw in here. Um, yeah, obviously it'll be next year probably before getting eggs out of them, but I wonder what the silver mallard over the regular mallard would look like. You know, they'll probably be splits or just carry that gene, but it'll be kind of cool. Anyway, we got two hens there. Actually, uh, a buddy at the auction had bought all the hens out of that last pen of mallards that I thought might be ruins. Um, if I'd have actually just read the papers, they would have known that they were mallards. But uh, he bought all the hens and he actually let me buy one off of them. So I'm sorry, dude, I'm forgetting your name right now. I feel like it's your for it, but trying to give you a little shout out here. Uh, but yeah, help me out a bunch. I appreciate him for it. But uh, I also, that pen's not supposed to be open. Hold on. Red laced Wyandot or splash laced Wyandot probably actually. Kind of hard to tell. It looks like a trio, but I'm also. I'm gonna say that's a bunch of boys. I, obviously, he is. But if you look at the tails on these, they're. I don't know. The way the, ha the saddles are all coming in, I think that's all boys there. Someone's gonna buy those thinking those are hens. A couple of bucks. Bunch of ducks. There's my Welsh. <laughs> Found one eventually. I don't know if they're Swedish or Swedish crosses. Some silkies. Hi. I'd love to take that, but that is not mine. We got some mini horses. Hi, guys. Good thing my daughter's not here today. Yeah. We have eight year old and a two year old mare. Do not need some little horses. Mallards? Could be flying mallards. That'd be kind of cool. I should pick up a hen. Throw it in with the wood ducks or something. Some more. I don't need a pair of mallards, but that'd be kind of cool. Then we got some older, probably black star hens. Back into the roosters. In case there's a new video, there are roosters everywhere. Got a nice buff Barama. I'll come see you in a bit. Anyway. Another mixed lot. I'm gonna assume that there's a lot of crossbred stuff here today because there's a lot of stuff that I just don't recognize. I mean, like that one there is not a pure buff barama. Definitely some other influence in there. Maybe like a red. I don't know. Like I could be his daddy. Uh, black wine dots, maybe? Phantoms, of course. They're kind of cool birds. Then here, 
Those are some pretty wine dots right there. Chocolate, tell me what they are. Chocolate Orpingtons. That's pretty. Only they can match with it, but it's pretty. Oh, these are Jay's stuff. That makes sense. All 53? Yep. Hi, Jay. Anyway, uh, some Jubilees. He actually got these from me. Man, they look way nicer than my birds. But apparently out of the uh, eight that he got, he's guessing six roosters. Which I think I have about the same ratio at my house. That's a rough hole though. And his look way nicer than mine though. Here, tell me. Are you a nanny? I think you're a nanny. Registered Nubian nanny, five years old. And here we have a bunch of ringneck pheasants. A lot of them. And another lot of roos. Oh Look like you have poor circulation, bud. Well, that pen door there was open for some reason, but looks like most everything's still in there. We did pick up the rest of the drakes in that lot, though. So, thought they'd be kind of fun, just for kicks and giggles. Uh, I'm going to move them out of this quarantine pen here, over into the barn here before too long. But, uh, yeah, just three young drakes. Thought they looked kind of cool. That, and if I have any, uh like fun stuff to cross but like oh, i caught myself okay anyway i thought it'd be kind of fun to throw maybe uh some different hens underneath of a mallard drake sometime just to see what happens could use the silver but i thought it could be fun to have you know actual color in there but anyway let's get back in the auction black copper moran marin hens moran hens whatever you want to call them it's a trio of them older birds it looks like like that. Still gonna go for like 25 bucks, which is way more than what I'm willing to pay. Got like 30 geese running around and I don't need more. White Chinese. These are some of the first geese I ever owned, actually. More Africans. Cool birds. Looks like some lion head crosses. Again. That is a beautiful red golden man. It's a stunning bird. He's got a ring neck brother next to him. Let me get out of the way so you can see him. There's another one. Bunch of eggs. These are sold by the dozen. Small stuff. A cool lot of hens. Looks like most of the stuff is crossed though. So pretty. Bunch of guineas. There's a group of hens. Got some Easter eggers in there. Other stuff as well. These look like some Sussex poets. There's a Roo over here. That guy. <laughs> it's a cool looking group. Uh, we got some Bantams. Ooh, peacocks. Four month old. That's all the bigger they are at four months old. Wow. That's not a lot to them. Can you tell me what they are? Bantams. Very descriptive. Oh, looks like it's mostly hens. That's cool. Mixed lot of roosters here. Looks like mostly Bantams, there might be a Morpington full size in there. Sebastopols, doesn't look like amazing quality Sebastopols, but typically those sell pretty well. Not what they're worth, but they sell pretty well. Hey, my guy. Yeah, I know. We are such good friends, aren't we? You know where the Muscovies are that I bought? No? No? Okay, hold on. Oh, one's right here. Now, he was later in the auction. We got this beautiful chocolate. I already had him, but look! We got a blue, finally! Look how pretty he is! Uh, the auction was super, super big, and so I didn't get everything on camera that I wanted to. But yeah, we got ourselves a blue drake. And I 
actually have a blue hen around here some hey, there you are there's a blue hen i bought both of those uh yeah she does have angel wing though but beautiful blue birds i'm pretty excited so now we got our chocolates we got our blacks and we got our blues i probably should get rid of like all but one color but those are the three that i like to keep around so uh yeah bought those muscovies they aren't going to be actually in the auction unless i can find some footage of them but we'll see what happens and here we have a pair of calls they're pretty rabbit another pair of blue fawn calls you know little guys are these american guinea hogs Bread, sow, and a boar. Hi, bud. Looks like the same thing over there. <laughs> then we have some Paternix here. That's cool. I don't know what breed that is, which I've said about a million times a day. Pretty though. Muscovies, do I see any drakes I want? I do not. It says they're all hens. Don't need more of those. Five Muscovy hens. I'll give you a dollar a piece. Don't hold me to that, guys. I really don't need them. Ooh. There's some. And he's still got that brown to him. Real young, though. That back one, though. I do like that. Bunch more Muscovies. Probably ruins. Good live trap. It actually does look like a pretty good live trap. It's got a live, live spot back here. Jimmy East John. Jimmy's Grays. No idea what that is, unless they're a fighting breed, but they look a little heavy for that. Some bunnies, lots of bunnies. This one's all bucks. Another group of pigeons. Red hens, pretty ones. Um, looks like some waters. Bunch of doe rings. Hey, little guys. And there's that Billy. Really spindly legged. Interesting. Hey, kitty. Hey. So, the kittens are getting bigger, but they're just spoiled little brats. The kids love playing with them all the time. But anyway, that's all I got right now. Here, yeah, let you go down. Obviously, the video could have gone a lot longer, but I tried to kind of just give you guys a good variety of the stuff that was there because there was a lot. I had, I have enough footage probably to make a couple hours of, of stuff that I haven't posted yet. But um, try to camp us on the cool stuff. Hope you guys like that. I don't know. Hopefully you guys did. Anyway, that's all we're going to do today. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, a like would be awesome. Comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks so much for all the support. And uh, whether you guys do any of those things or not, hope you guys have a good day. And be safe out there.